Tamariki, we are so excited that you are here for another episode of Arise Kids TV for our Here Come the Dreamers series. It's going to be so good. This week we're learning about dreams come true. Mm. I'm yeah. so excited. Justice is preaching. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be an amazing time together. It's going to be so fun. But hey guys, I have a question for you, all yeah. right? Okay. 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 If you could have any sandwich ever and you can make it up as, mm. with anything that you want, what would be your dream sandwich? Mm. Go, Nicole. Okay, I think mine would have to have like lots of chicken, cheese, yes. lettuce, tomatoes. Um, I wanted to say ham, but I don't know if I could put them together. It just had to have like Go everything. On. It's your dream. All together in one giant sandwich, and the okay. bread would have to be garlic bread. Oh, <laughs> yes. that's okay. too good. Okay, here that's too good. Sourdough with Ooh, garlic butter. Yum. Melted in the oven. <laughs> fried chicken. Oh, okay. Chips, gravy, yes. cheese, bacon. Stop it right and now. Of garlic sourdough. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Okay, what about me? Okay, I reckon mine's a little bit crazy, but okay. I feel like I just feel like it would taste nice. Okay, bread, yeah. marshmallows, oh. sprinkles, chocolate yeah. sauce, corn chips, corn cheese, chips. and another bread. Why would you put cheese in there? Why not? Chocolate? You know what? It's fine. Another, okay, okay. Yeah, it's your dream. It's your dream. Well, <laughs> right now we are going to go to Stickies. Oh, that super cool stuff. Make sure we stick around. That looks like an amazing episode. Yeah. I'm so excited for the rest of it. Yeah, let's go. But right now, it's time for praise. So wherever you are, it to stand up. Let's praise. Come on. Jesus, I won't forget all of your kindness. You've made me righteous. You flood my heart with your forgiveness. Time for the word. So to get you ready for the word, you're gonna need these three things. I know you already know what those three things are. Your notebook, your Bible, and your pen. And let's get ready to lean in and hear from God today. If you're taking down notes, which I hope you are, I want you to write down the title of this message, Dreams Come True. I'm gonna say it one more time. Dreams come true. Amazing. Well, I'm gonna pray and then we're gonna get into it. God, I pray that as we come around your word, you would help us to understand it. God, would you speak to us today in Jesus' name? And everyone said, Amen. Well, I need to ask you a question. Have you ever thought about what the future could look like? If you could get in a time travel machine and zoom all the way to year 3000, what do you think it could look like? Okay, 
I have a couple of thoughts. Have you guys seen Meet the Robinsons, the movie? Okay, I reckon year 3000 literally looks like this. I reckon we have flying cars and rockets that are just everywhere and it's just super fun. I reckon we could even be living underwater. Hello. Imagine. I reckon we even have giant robots that are just marching down the road that delivers McDonald's to your door. Imagine if we could time travel to the future. Well, do you know in a way time travel is actually possible? Now, there's not a machine that takes us to year 3000 or there's not a machine that takes us to the future. But when we get a dream from God, we can actually time travel in our minds and see it happening. In this series, we've been following the life of Joseph. And do you remember when Joseph got his God dream? He trusted God and believed that it was going to come true and he could see it happening. Well, we're going to continue along in his story to figure out what happened with that dream. See, at this point in time, Joseph was in prison and he'd been interpreting some dreams for some people in there. And years later, Pharaoh, he had had this troubling dream and he didn't know what it meant. He needed someone to interpret it. So do you know what he did? He called for all the wise, wisest people that he knew to come and try understand this dream. But none of them could figure it out. He was like, oh man, okay, well, they, they still need someone to interpret this dream. So Pharaoh's cupbearer, he had remembered Joseph from prison and remembered that Joseph had interpreted his dream. So he suggested Joseph. Pharaoh called for Joseph and Joseph was able to hear Pharaoh's dream and he told Pharaoh what the future was gonna look like. And Pharaoh trusted Joseph. He believed what he said was true. He knew that he was a wise man and he knew that God was with him. Do you know what he did? He chose Joseph to be in charge of Egypt Pharaoh's palace and all of his people. Wasn't that awesome? He got him the finest robes and he actually sat in a chariot in front of everyone. What I love about this story is that at the beginning, Joseph had this God dream. And even though it didn't look like it was gonna happen just in that moment, we see years later that the dream actually came true. Why? Because Joseph kept his eyes fixed on God and he held on to this dream. And we need to remember that dreams come true. Let me tell you about a man who actually had a dream and it came true. Ooh. Do you guys know about Shine TV? Look, Arise Kids TV's on there, how cool. Well, years ago, it started with this man called Richard Berry and he had a dream to start a Christian radio and TV show. Now, there were a lot of people around that time that didn't believe in him. There are a lot of people that think that he, thought that he couldn't do it. There are a lot of people that even went against his efforts to try and make it come true. But he knew that God had given him dream to do this. And now years later, Shine TV exists and this is his dream coming true. And look, Arise Kids TV gets to be on there and we get to be a part of his dream. Isn't that awesome? Do you know what? It could be years until we see our God dreams actually come true. But what we need to remember is that God's timing is perfect. And all we have to do is hold on to that dream fix our eyes on God and those dreams will come true. Well, right now in this moment, I'd love us to spend some time in God's presence, waiting for Him to reveal to us those dreams in our hearts. Can we do that? Wherever you are, why don't you jump up to your feet, why don't you stretch your hands to heaven, let's close our eyes and let's wait on God to move. I really believe that He's revealing dreams in our hearts even now in this moment. Holy Spirit, come and move, come and reveal to us the dreams that you've placed in our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I'd love to pray for another group of people. Maybe you don't even have a relationship with Jesus. Well, right now, I'd love to offer you to have that relationship with God. See, 2,000 years ago, God sent His Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for all of our sin. That's all the things that we've done wrong. But because He did that, we can now have a relationship with Him. So if that's you, if you want to have a relationship with Jesus, if you want to call him your Lord and Saviour, then right now, all across the room, I want you to stretch your hand up, give me a wave. Amazing. Well, I'd love to pray a prayer with you. What we're going to do is I'm going to say one line. And if you're praying this prayer, I want you to repeat it after me. Here we go. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much for loving me and for giving me life. I'm sorry for the things I've done wrong. Please forgive me and take away the sin that blocks me from you. 
I believe in you. Be my Lord. Be my best friend. Now and forever. Amen. Amazing. Well, let's remember that our God dreams can come true. Do you smell that? <gasps> I think I smell donuts. Oh my goodness. Can I please have a pink donut with green sprinkles? Sure. Thank you. Okay. Gosh, this sure is taking a while. <laughs> Do you ever have to wait for stuff? Like I am for this donut right now. Do you know who had to wait for stuff? Joseph did. Joseph got given a dream from God and he had to wait for that dream to come true. But do you know what he did? He kept on hoping and believing that the dream that God had given him would come true. You know what? If you have a dream, I'm gonna believe for you that it will come to pass. And you guys should too. Hopefully my donut's coming soon. Cool, I'm gonna go eat this. See ya. Wow, what an amazing message. And we just wanna say another congrats. If you just made a decision to follow Jesus, that is the best decision. And we have the three best. easy steps for you to do now. Yeah, that's right. The first one is this. We want you to tell someone about <laughs> this amazing decision you've just made. It's so important. So make sure you tell your mum, your dad, your brother, your sister, tell uh, Aunt Franny and <laughs> Uncle Greg, whoever you need to tell, just tell someone about this mm -hmm. amazing decision you've just made. That's amazing. The second thing we want you to do is read your Bible. The Bible is simply God's Word written down Ooh, for us and yeah. it is so powerful. So, so if you get a Bible, you can maybe ask your mum, your dad, your auntie and uncle to get your Bible or you can download it on the App Store. So good. Favourite scripture from the Bible? Oh, um, probably Proverbs chapter 22. <laughs> no, I was gonna you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> Jeremiah 29 11 is my one. Okay, good. Nice. Good. The third one is this. We want you guys to pray. Do you know, Nicole, mm -hmm. prayer is simply talking to God. It's like what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. And you can give it a try whenever you want. Just make sure you give it a try this week. Just try talking to God. I Amazing. know he'll talk back to you. So easy. And so right now, Johnny, I believe we are about to head into the last installment That's of the right. Game Bunker. Yeah, this is my chance to finally beat Harry. It has been a rough mm. journey, Nicole. Okay, But okay. I believe that today could be my day. Redemption, eh? Redemption. All right, let's check it out. All right, we are back here in the bunker. And as you know, uh, from two weeks ago, we played a game of Rocket League, me and Harry. Rocket it was uh, our first game playing, and yes. it was rough, to say the least. However, today, I have not been practicing anymore, but I feel better than I did last time, so I feel like he wins. Harry, let's start to play, because I'm really annoyed right now. Let's okay, play. at home, uh, you need to pick, are you Team Orange? I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Team Orange. I'm Team Blue. Johnny's Team Blue. Here we go. Who's your team? I'd go Team Orange. I won the last one 3-0. Here we go. Why are you always going for oh, oh, we both missed it again. I missed. This is like a replay of last time. Johnny, if I win this game, oh, I will have won all three of our games. Johnny, do you think if I win again, you'll have to buy me dinner? Probably not. Uh, <laughs> Johnny, you understand what you need to do, right? Ah, I missed it again. Oh, here we go. I've got a chance here. Oh, I missed the goal again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he blew me up. Oh, I literally amazing. exploded. Where, where's the ball? <laughs> How does that work? If this game was real in real life. How crazy would that be? Oh, honestly, I'd, I'd go watch it. I feel like if there were such bad players as us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, get out. <laughs> That's my chance. No. Duh. Duh. <laughs> you just jump in the air. Yeah. Oh, I'm upside down. How do I? Oh, okay. Oh, reverse, reverse, reverse. Yes, beep, reverse. Beep. No. Oh, I missed it. That was my <laughs> chance. My one and only chance to score a goal. Nah, Johnny, you've, I, honestly, Johnny, I think you just need to believe in yourself. Thanks, bro. As I preached in week two of the series, or was it week three? I think it was week two. Just hold on, Johnny. Just hold on. Defense. Defense. Def 
defense! Defense! Wait, 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 does it go to a... What happens if it's a draw? I'm, I don't know what I happens if it's a draw, Harry! I'm freaking out, bro. Oh, no! Oh, Where is no. it? Where is it? No! no! Oh, you hit me! <laughs> you hit me! I've got 10 seconds! 10 seconds and I can win! 10 seconds! 10 seconds! Where's the ball? <laughs> Yes! Oh! Overtime! It's overtime! Oh, go! It's overtime! Oh, okay, I can't go. How much overtime do we get? Oh! <laughs> we just we just smoked each other. How much overtime do we get? I wanna know! Six seconds! What? Let me have the ball and I'll score and I'll win. Rocket man! Oh! Good save, <laughs> good save, good save. No! No! I missed no! it! No! Yes! No! I scored! I scored! I scored! <laughs> That's literally how I felt the first time I saw this one. Oh, it's a great day in this history! This is the worst goal it ever! a great this day is in history! Oh. Oh. oh! So much pain! Oh! So much pain! My headache. heart is beating so much! Well, Johnny, well done on finally winning a game. <laughs> <laughs> this is a glorious day. I'm so glad you are here to witness it hey, with me. Hey, I retire for all international Rocket League football. As this episode is called, <sighs> this episode is called Dreams Do Come True. They do. Johnny's dream came true. Thank you so much for joining us here on The Bunker. We'll see you next time. <laughs> all right, I'm done. I'm happy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this boys versus girls competition. And I know what you're thinking. Every time I've played this game, I've lost. So why would I back the boys? Because we live by faith, not by sight. Well, I'm for the girls, and I know we are going to win this game. How do you know? I just know. How do you know? I just know. How do you know? I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's how the game works. If you've never seen us play before, this is how it works. One of us, or well, both of us, will stand down one end of the table, and we're going to shoot these ping pong balls into our catcher tray. Just like that. It's the first person to connect four that wins. Awesome, I am so excited. Which color do you want to be? I want to be yellow. Oh, the losing color. No, that's fine. Uh, here we go, can you just get ready to catch them? Here they go. Wait, where they go? Oh, wait. Like that, yeah, yeah, and then you get your balls. No, 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 yellow. <laughs> you load up your pockets. Wait, that's your one. Yeah. Oh, they're going everywhere. Oh, they're they are only... definitely oh. going everywhere. You. Oh, there's uh, some bread. I'll just. Oh, what was that? That's not. Oh, How are you hey, sabotaging me? We haven't even Should started start? the game. We haven't. St no. <laughs> we haven't even started yet. She sabotaged. This is not even fair. Now we're going to go down here and get the ball. <laughs> I thought it. Here we go. Give us a countdown at home, in your local, for wherever you are, for the boys. Ready? Three, two, two one. one, go. Oh, scared you. See that? No. Boom. Straight. In. Oh, yes, I got one in, I got one in. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, how have you got two in already? Oh, <laughs> I need some more. This game might be over faster than what I thought it was going to be. Oh, nice, not nice enough. Oh, yeah. maybe. Oh, another one in, let's go. Are you serious? Check the video replay, she's cheating. Oh, another one in, woo! <laughs> Stop. Oh. This wow. is not good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got one in. Okay, I think I figured it out. Justice is using a double bounce technique. I'm stealing it. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, great technique there. <laughs> no. Oh. Man, it bounced out of the tray even. It's bouncing out of the tray. Yeah, it's because I prayed. Oh, oh, oh she's got gosh. double loaded bases. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, that was not even on. No, no, it wasn't. Target. Oh, oh she's loaded. Oh, Three need, different ways. I need to go get some more. Yes! I stopped it. Wait, no. Oh. oh. I blocked it twice. No, no. Like that. I block it like that. Boom. Yeah, I reckon oh. you can block it if you got it in. Get it in the right one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's over there. It's way over there. No! Down the other end. <laughs> Don't tell me, but this is one just right there that she could have grabbed. Just go. Dead cheating. Go. Yep, there it is. You see? Oh, there it is. That's right. Carry. Oh. Get in. In it. <laughs> 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 
Like that. Like that. All no. I have to do is one. <laughs> Look, Dad! I made you proud! I made you proud, man! <sighs> One, two, three, four. Woo! Well, that's German. Get your breath, please. Whew. Wait, there's a song I'm thinking of. No! <laughs> I am your champion, my friends. Bring it in. And we'll keep on ping ponging until the end. Goodbye. Hey everyone, it's time for the memory verse. You already know what to do. Jump up to your feet. Here we go. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. That's in Romans chapter 8, verse 28. It's so good, you guys, but we're not finished yet. We're going to do it one more time. Are you guys ready? And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. That's in Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Oh my gosh, you guys are so good. Love that. Make sure you practice at home. Bye. Wow, what an incredible episode amazing. we've just had. What an amazing message from yeah. you, Justin. <laughs> God's dreams do come true. Such an encouraging word, such an encouraging message. Yeah, and I must say, uh, snaps for me for beating Harry. <laughs> That's good. right, Finally! Not lead. Not finally, oh. Oh. but it did happen. Because it, did. It, did. it will not be the last time that it will happen. Great. I guarantee that. Love that. Well, right now, it's time for... <gasps> Shout out! That's right. This is the part of the episode where we love to give a massive shout out to someone who has sent us a photo of them watching Rise Kids TV. And today, we want to give a massive shout out to, drum roll please, Micah. Micah is seven years old and he lives, here this, at the foot of Mount Ruapehu. I did not know that mountains had feet, but there you go. Hey, Micah, we know that you love watch Arise Kids TV every single Sunday at home and you love it. We're so happy that you love to watch Arise Kids TV. And you know what? You can be here on stage with us next week. And all you need to do is send a photo to us at uh, kids at arisechurch.com. Make sure it's a photo of you watching Arise Kids TV and you can be here with us next week. How cool is that? That's right. Make sure you send us that photo so that yeah. you can be here with us in a shout out. That's right. But do you know what's even better than getting a shout out is seeing you in person. Yeah. And you can find out if there's a location near you at arisechurch.com forward slash locations. Cool. Find out if there's an Arise Kids near you. Come and say hi. Cool. Yeah, and that'd be epic. But hey, this episode's been amazing. But we've got so much more content. Oh, yeah. So much more at arisechurch.com forward slash kids. Make sure you check it out and you can see it all there. Sounds amazing. But guys, that's all got time for today. Oh. I mean, we can't forget that today was an amazing episode. Yeah. Oh, I bet Harry. <laughs> it was amazing. In fact, we should go to a replay. We can't oh. do that right now. We've got, we've got to go. But we'll see you guys next time. Have a great time. Catch Bye. You guys.